Hello, hope everyone is doing well today. So today's topic is gonna to be around accountability management. For those of you who are not familiar with the term, accountability management is essentially the process of trying to work through conflicts that you've had. Anytime you've had a violated expectation or a broken commitment, and you're trying to figure out what the next step is going to be, this involves a premise called accountability management. You're trying to hold the other person accountable for what it is that they were supposed to be doing. A lot of people really do not know how to engage in appropriate accountability management. And you will see this in a lot of discussion where usually they just, they name call, they're very disrespectful, they tear down the person's reputation, right? Which when you're trying to get the person to do what it is that you want them to do or what it is that you agreed upon initially, obviously behaving in such a derogatory manner isn't going to have the desired outcome right? Being so disrespectful to somebody is not going to be likely to get them to want to participate with you and work with you towards a positive outcome. So what I'm going to primarily reference on this one, I'm not going to regurgitate everything. So this is going to be a shorter video than normal, but there is an established series. There is an established series right now that is already out there called the Crucial Series from Vital Smarts. Right. And the crucial series has three parts, right? Three keynote pieces that you would use. The first one is crucial conversations. This is how you have those tense conversations with someone. This is before it actually becomes an accountability issue. But this could be a conversation. Let's say you're concerned about the way your spouse has been eating recently you have a lot of concerns regarding how this is going to impact their health but you're worried that in making a comment about their dietary habits you know you're going to be perceived as someone being shallow oh you're fat shaming me you're this or that when in reality you're just legitimately concerned about their health right um, so crucial conversations teaches you how to have those more tense conversations without finding yourself in a state of conflict, right? So the next book that builds off of Crucial Conversations is Crucial Accountability. Crucial Accountability is when stakes are high and relationships are important, how do you resolve the violated expectation or broken commitment? So in that particular regard, I want you to think about it like this. You've told your child, hey, I want you to be home by 6 p.m. And your child has shown up this time at 12 p.m. Or excuse me, not 12 p.m., but 12 a.m., right? Well, what do you do now? What kind of conversation do you have with your child, right? And they teach you certain premises behind why do people do what they do? Because they want to or don't want to or because they can or they can't. Motivation and ability. Right. And then underneath motivation and ability, they discuss how you have uh, you have personal motivation and ability, social motivation and ability and organizational such hierarchical motivation and ability. Right. Additionally, they focus on another content uh, called CPR, content pattern relationship. Right. So when you're having your accountability discussions with somebody, what should you be discussing? If this is the first time that this particular accountability conversation needs to be had, chances are it would be a content discussion. So in the same conversation with the child from before where they showed up at 12 a.m. rather than 6 p.m., you would have a conversation about them showing up late and how this can affect your trust the relationship piece, right? And you basically walk them through why you're concerned, why this is an issue, so on and so forth. If this is the third or fourth time that they've shown up late, right, then you would discuss the pattern of behavior, right? You wouldn't so much focus on the content. You would mention the content, but then you would focus primarily into the pattern and cater your conversation almost entirely to the pattern, right? The last one being, hey, it still continues to happen after a pattern conversation. So now you have to have a conversation with your child about your lost trust in them, about how this has fundamentally changed the dynamic of your relationship with your child, which is now a relationship discussion, 
right? So the final book in the Vital Smart series is called Crucial Conflicts. And this is what to do once you are in a conflict. So unlike crucial conversations and crucial accountability, right? Crucial conflict is interpreting that you are already in a state of conflict. This is already exploded. You are already in a tense situation. What do you do now, right? So I highly recommend this particular series because this has been very useful for me. I used to really have a hard time having some of these conversations um, with more irrational people, right? I always, I didn't have any issue having these types of discussions with people that I felt were logical because all I had to do was spell out what it was that happened, what it was that they did, and what it was that we agreed on. And then that was always an easy fix, right? But with more irrational or emotional people, um, that's not as easy of a discussion, right? Because then they will see, well, I had this circumstance or that circumstance and how dare you? And it turns into a whole nother thing. So I really felt that this series was very beneficial for me and growing as a person and being able to be a better father to my daughter and being able to be a better boss for my employees, being a better employee for my boss, right? Being able to be a better partner to anyone that I'm in a relationship with at the time, to be a better friend and hold my friends accountable for the goals that they set and the things that they say they want to do for themselves. So that's all I have for today. And I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Goodbye.